Quick announcement coming up. All right, is uh, Miss Bev Johnson still in the house? How about you, Bev? There she is. Come on up here real quick. I want to get her up here before it's a little too late. This young lady's running for city council in Hazel Park. And I give her a chance to let her know what she's about and what she wants to bring to our city. So just give her just a few minutes of your time. And uh, give it up for Joe Stan and the trio here. I'm really glad everybody made out tonight. The weather's perfect, the people are great, the food's great. Oh, by the way, Jeff, Jeff, the 420 chef, the food's come off like a salad. So uh, I'll give you a bath for just a minute. You know, you yeah. come up here and say a word or two. I appreciate you guys being here. I know a lot of you guys were here yesterday, so I I don't want to be you know repetitive or anything. Um, if you want to see my website, it's bevg at hp.com. Or no, I'm sorry, it's bevg 4 hp with a digit four hp.com. Um, I just want to make this a friendlier city. What you guys are doing is like what I want to see, you know, more connection between people in our city. And, you know, I, I kind of got an issue with some of the things that go on in our city. We don't want to punish people when they're down. You know, we want to help reach out and help them out. And that's the kind of friendly city that we need to be. You know, we need to be friendlier and we need to help each other more. So yeah. I'd, like, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'd like to see maybe a volunteer network, you know, where people can help. And then when they get when they get the lawn equipment out and do their city lots, you know, we have a lot of elderly and we have a lot of disabled people and we have a lot of people who are low income and just, you know, aren't, aren't making it very well. And we need to, instead of punishing them, we should probably be reaching out and helping. So that's, that's the kind of thing I'd like to see in our city, you know, make it a friendlier place to be. There's a lot of other issues, and oh, there's a radio station, um, and I don't know the call letters, and I haven't been a long time listener, but a lot of people have. Um, it's eight, no, it's 680, and sometimes in the evening it's 690 AM, but, but from, um, nine o'clock till 11 o'clock there's a guy on there um and he's the one that actually introduced me to to bob here danko he's an awesome guy and he does a really great radio show he's going to interview me so you know if you want to tune in i think it's going to be monday and i'm not sure exactly what time between 9 and 11 but um he made the connection here and then i came here and there's somebody else that i don't know if he's here tonight he calls himself um, Six Seven Kevin. He's a real tall guy, <laughs> real full of life and energy, and he wants to bring some more of this type of stuff to the city. And I would love to do that. I would love to see that. Yeah, you know. So he said that he'd maybe do an event here for me. So that would be so cool. Um, we could all get together and have more music. Music is what brings people together. You know, this is beautiful. So I'm really thankful that you guys all let me speak a little bit. Thank you. Have a good evening. And Bev G for HP. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Oh, All right. Oh, one more thing. I'm sorry. I could use donations at the website. <laughs> and I could use help. You know, anybody wants to do anything to, you know, help build the website or, you know, any, what, what's your talent? What's your skill? You know, let's work together. All right, bye. <laughs> Give up for Bev G. 4HP. I love Hazel Park. I bought my house here in 2009, and it's been amazing to see how far the city has come just in that amount of time. Uh, it's a great place to live. Give up for Hazel Park, everybody. What a fine, fine city.